New ban list is here and there's lots of things to talk about. Let's do this. It's time to do 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 So let's start with card limitations. Perform appeal call to one. This is a prevention to the upcoming perform appeal cards coming with new box and Yuya. This card negates a direct attack and search for two perform appeal monster cards without a cost and the only restriction is that total amount of the defense the monsters you are going to add must be lower than the attack of the monster you targeted. Not very much things to talk about here since we don't know what will be the impact of performable cards and pendulums on the game yet. Limited to two, three different cards here. Cyberload, Fusion, Elegant Egotist and Aloof Lupine. First of all, I have already looked at skill chains and with the limitation of Elegant Egotist 2, nothing changed with Harpies because you use two of this card anyway. And Historic Sign, Surge Seat, so not even a bit of a difference. And about the skill chains, actually harpies don't rely on any skill at all so deck can't be nerfed with hitting such a skill and here we are with cyber load fusion what can i say cyber dragons was not meta on the ladder but we all know how they see used again and again whenever a kc cup comes around with all the limitations konami has been making like limiting fusion support and overflow to two changing and trying to nerf cyber style over and over again this is where we have come this card is the main card you are going to use to make your fusion summons but fusion gate is still there so after all deck might be revived again but not like before because skill is pretty much dead now though we will come to there later aloof lupine to two hit to thunder dragons which also hurts metaphys decks thunder dragons will probably use lightsburn engine to be relevant again they can still use thunder dragons main effects make exes and synchro summons summon levanir and so on and here comes limited to three there's only one card in here and that's none other than floodgate trap hole when your opponent summons a monster flip it face down and it cannot be flipped ever again except with a card effect this card might not be this effective in the normal format of Yu-Gi-Oh, but in the format of this game Game, in the format of dual links which is speed dueling we have three monster zones and in a format like this cards like this one are much more of a problem than they normally are that's pretty much what i can tell about this card but remember that it's limited to three so you can use it like you normally was unless you want to use another limited to three card in your deck and finally onslaught and secret pass to the treasures are unlimited doesn't makes any difference at all but it's cool that they're out now you can use cosmic cyclone in your amazon stack and you can use any number of secret paths to the treasures in your farm decks and now it's time to look at the skill chains malicious hero zexal weapon galaxy photon and castle of machines will be buffed and the rest of what you see here will be nerfed Malicious Hero will add the same cards like it normally was but now if you have a castle on the field you can return your Malicious Edge in order to add a level 6 fiend type monster and if you're going to add an evil hero you can add a monster regardless of its level. You can also return one or more fiend type monsters from your hand whose total levels are 7 or more back into your deck and then add your Malicious Edge. Zexal Weapon will be able to select new Zexal weapon cards. Galaxy Photon can now use number monsters in their extra deck. It doesn't have to be a light monster. You can now return any Mechlord monster instead of Mechlord Emperor monsters to add your field spell with Castle of Machines. And now we have come to nerfs. First of all, let's start with Onomato Play. Now it has a restriction that you can only use it after turn 3 and onward, which reminds me of Jesse's Transcendence Crystal skill used by Crystrons back in the day. And now you have to play 12 or more Onomat monsters in your deck and 2 or more Utopia Xyz monsters in your extra deck. And also no rank 5 or higher monsters other than Numbers and Zexal Weapon monsters 
players in your extra deck. This condition is really important. Now Onomats cannot use their extra deck like a toolbox. No bouncers, no insectors, no constellers anymore. Cyber style. Now it special summons the actual cyber dragon instead of proto cyber dragon. And you have to play them from your hand or deck. They do not come from your outside of your deck like it was before. Their attack becomes zero and you have no choice but to summon your cyber end dragon. And also while your end dragon is on the field you cannot special summon monsters except by fusion summon and cannot attack besides with fusion monsters. This will hurt cyber dragon a lot and I don't think skill will not longer see any play at all though we will see that in the future. While using demons resonance now we have to not just reveal the resonator we have to send it into the deck in order to add a monster but the thing is now you can add any level 4 or lower monster with the skill but due to the skill restrictions you can only add dragon or fiend type monsters no need to mention that you have to use red dragon arch fiend and red noah dragon in your extra deck now and eight or more resonator cards i guess this nerf is kind of fair since it's a character based skill and it's abusing the skill if you don't use red dragon arch fiend and red nova dragon anyway dragon knight's path now has to return a monster in order to activate the field spell you cannot return any card now set delta axel now you have to return a tech genus monster in order to summon your respro dragonfly endless trap hell now doesn't shuffles the trap card in your grave back to your deck and finally hero flash can only be used by actual hero decks now as we all know and like how konami mentioned it here it was being used as a discard fodder for trap cards like raigeki break and karma cuts and that's pretty much it biggest hit here is to onomats which is expected to be honest since they have been tier one since long time resonators rps and the rest will be coming back with new ways to play as always thanks for watching and see you soon